Hey y'all, it is Saturday, September 16th. That means bottle 16 on the 25 days of bourbon. Woo! Weekend vibes, y'all. Weekend vibes. That's right. So, let's do it. That one a good what for there? Hmm. Interesting. Getting banana. So that's uh different. <coughs> banana with a little uh little cocoa. Yeah, banana and cocoa. I like it. Charge y'all. Slight heat to start out with. The um, spice is kind of closing in a little bit, getting a little stronger actually on the sides of the tongue. Light hug, not not much to it, but uh, kind of a dry mouth feel to it. Almost like a, a fruity wine. Hmm. Not bad. Like it. Um, not the dryness so much. That that's one thing that usually kind of puts me off. But I think the flavor here with the nose um, kind of bumps that up. But it is to me, it is extremely dry. Let me know what you guys think about bottle sixteen. Maker's Mark Private Select. This is a Westport whiskey and wine selection bottled at 108.3 proof. If you've never been on a Maker's Private Select or heard me talk about it before, uh, basically you go in, you start out with a cask strength uh, Maker's Mark base, and then you sample different flavorings from five different uh, type staves that can go in for finishing and then you're going to choose a total of 10 in any combination of those five staves uh, to add flavor to it. So when you're there, you, you get to try, pick out three combinations that you think uh, from the flavor profiles are going to do something for you. And uh, then you pick out your favorite one of those. So uh, the five stays are Baked American Pure, Seared French Cuvée, Maker's 46 staves, Roasted French Mendion staves, and uh, Toasted Spice, Toasted French Spice stave. Uh, so on this selection, what Westport uh, Whiskey and Wine did, they use three baked American Pure staves, two seared French cuvee staves, two Maker's 46 staves, and three roasted French Mendiant staves. Now, I can tell you from experience that the French Mendiant does have that chocolate, that cocoa flavor to it. So the more of those you have in there, the more of that's going to come through. Uh, with three of them, that's why it's kind of, um, kind of light on the cocoa, but it is there. And uh, you, you can pick it up. But uh, yeah. Not sure what the dryness is coming from. That's that's kind of odd. It's a first for me uh, on a on a maker's select. So with the five different staves, they makers claims there's, and I'm sure if you math it out, it's probably correct. But I'm, I'm not doing math, y'all. I'm a drinker, not a mathematician. But they say there's a thousand and one possibilities on the stave combinations. So uh, yeah, if you guys have had makers. Private select before. It'd be interested to see what kind of stave combinations uh, you guys had on your selects, and how the flavors came out on that. And uh, 
whether it was a, a, a great one or a okay one. Um, this is a good one. Not great, but good. Uh, and it's enjoyable. Um, but this might be a first drink for me for the night and I'd have to follow it up with something else because the, that dryness is actually starting to get to me now. <laughs> I can feel it. Ah, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to grab some water here shortly. But that is bottle 16, y'all. Maker's Private Select Westport Whiskey and Wine. Bottled at 108.3 proof. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay safe out there, y'all. It is the weekend. Uh, crazies are out. I don't know how many times today I almost got hit. Uh, <laughs> out on the roads. So just uh, just stay safe, y'all. Don't drink a drive. Do drink. And as always, bourbon on, y'all.